friends, here's a recent flight that I did over Morgan to North Carolina just as a um, update to some of the previous videos I'd done about the courthouse square. Now, you, there you see that dead center of the screen here. That's the old courthouse. It's the new stage at the bottom. Uh, coming over here next to the, uh, that is our marquee cinema on the right. Flying over Bank of America, I go up here and turn around, around close to City Hall, and come back and get some different shots of BB&T, or Truist Bank now, to the left up there. Looking up, oh, I'm trying to remember the name of that street. Oh, I can't remember. That's Morgan Trading Company, Town Hall's there, a couple of really nice churches, some a restaurant there on the bottom. I'm not sure what the restaurant is now. Uh, the cemetery is off in the distance, that's where the water tower is. One of the big cemeteries in Morganton. That is the new courthouse area there, dead center now, on the screen. Back to the old courthouse, now you can see the square. Of course, they spent a lot of time renovating that last year. And we're going to have our concert series pretty soon uh, starting. And I can't wait to see what it sounds like for bands to be on the little stage there. Uh, going to, from the bottom, I take actually up toward uh, West Union Street. So we're going up West Union. Off in the distance, you can see the uh, spire of First Baptist Church. The red sort of building in the upper left there now is Morganton Savings. It used to be Morganton Federal. It's an old mansion. We'll see more of that later. That's the community house, dead center and screen. We're in the back of it now, Lutheran Church across the road from it. The uh, church to the right there now with, with the high spire, that is First United Methodist. Behind the, the big uh, green tree, that is, oh my goodness, that is uh, the, the L-shaped building there is Morganton News Herald. Uh, you see the court, tennis courts there from College Street Recreation. There's a gym there. There's a pool in there inside that. Uh, center top now is the new, uh, is it Fairfield Inn? It's, I think it's a Fairfield Inn. It's our new uh, hotel. Going kind of a quick circle around the First United Myth. Just, just thought it'd make a nice little view of downtown. There you can see the, kind of how Morganton spreads out. And a uh, beautiful little town. Very clean, very neat. Good folks, good people. Super enjoyed living and working in this area. Uh, coming back toward Wells Fargo's dead center there of, of the screen right now, uh, back over to the courthouse. As I said, most of this video was to show how the courthouse has been renovated. Very little traffic uh, in town uh, on this day. I like to shoot when there's almost zero traffic and you can see there's just not much anything moving around. The uh, In front of the courthouse, there you see the shadow of the statue. That's a statue of Senator Sam Irvin. You can see some people that are walking there toward that statue. Uh, I, some of this looks like bad flying. It is kind of probably because I'm just trying to figure out what to shoot, what the best angles are. So Patterson's uh, Amish furniture in the center is there. And that is Sterling Street uh, that's running diagonal there, one of the main streets in Morgan. That's a good shot of the uh, of the courthouse square as they've renovated. Like I say, the old, uh, they tore the old jailhouse down is where the new stages they used to have an old jailhouse there and it was an art gallery for a long time they've moved the art gallery i thought i'd just get a back shot off in the distance you can see on the horizon you see table rock and hawksbill mountains off in the distance dead center there just to the right maybe the uh, brewery in the middle of the screen now with the kind of teal awnings that is uh catawba brew and uh, I'm trying to say TD Bank should be down there. That's looking back toward that's Comma City of Morganton Municipal Auditorium is the big red brick building. I think I might have flown over there and took a look at it. Just kind of looking around, seeing what I can see. That's the uh, train station. You see where the uh, the train tracks go across the uh, the uh, road there, Sterling Street. And the little yellow building in the bottom left there now. That is the old train station. Um, the white, white water tower off in the distance is where the new School of Science and Math is going to be. I kind of went off this way. That's Old Morganton High School and the old armory off to the distance there to the left of the brick building. I went, I guess I did a circle around Comma just to show that this way. City of Morganton Municipal Auditorium, the old Grace Hospital in Morganton used to sit there. My brother Tim was born somewhere along in there. When it was still a hospital, they tore it down and they built the auditorium. I think maybe the foundation building, my uh, Blue Ridge Healthcare Foundation, you can't see it for the trees, but it's off to the left of, uh, it's in the trees there. 
and maybe a fly over it. Uh, I think that's an old dormitory left over for the nurses. You just barely can see it to the bottom. That's the Morganton Historical Society with the green awning on it, kind of beige building dead center now. Have a museum in there all about Burke County. I say Morganton starts in Burke County Historical Society. Going over King Street uh, Apartments and back over again for another view of the uh, Courthouse Square. I think I turned at this point, maybe I did go down West Union or something, I'm not sure what I did. Uh, just to show what's down there, I see the uh, Masonic Temples to the left there, uh, just across from the, uh, it's about left center right there now. Oh, I did fly over and take a look. I think it is Fairfield Inn and Suites. I wanted to get one quick look. Pretty sure that's Fairfield. I think that's what it says, right? So that is one of the newest. That was a, I can't I couldn't tell what it was. Uh, it's one of the newest hotels. Maybe the newest hotel in Burke County now. Completed maybe last year. CVS Pharmacy in the center. And again, the back of Truist Bank. And this is coming across the town hall area there. I used to rent an apartment. There's apartments off to the left, behind the water tower to the left. Uh, not not those gray top, but actually part of this that building there. I used to rent an apartment there in what's called Morganton Trading Company. Lived there for about nine months. Great place to live. One more quick view of uh, off the square and then I think I might have gone down on down West Union Street some just to take a look I'll try to stay away from the courthouse they don't want you flying over the courthouse so I'll stay away from the official courthouse that's why I'm just trying to stay outside of the boundaries of that very bottom of the screen you can see that those are the uh, silos those stainless steel silos there of the brewing company that is the courthouse dead center of the screen now Courthouse complex and stay out of their airspace. And pretty nice. If you want to stop on any frame on almost any of this video, you'll be able to see things sharper um, as I'm watching it now. It all kind of slightly blends together. I was just trying to get some really good new aerial video. Uh, all of this, uh, I've been in contact with the Morganton Historical, excuse me, Burke County Historical Society. And, they want all of my aerial shots. I've probably done six or seven flights over Morganton at various times over the last five years. I'm going to donate all of that to them, give them all this video so they'll have these different views at points in, in time. Shot this one in 5K with a DJI Mavic Air 2S, I think it's called. I want to get down a little bit low and just get a good good shot here. So I'm probably not even 50 feet over the top of the uh, of the courthouse of the spire. I'm always trying to make sure I definitely clear the trees. I thought I'd go ahead and get a downward shot. It looks like some grass needs to grow there in that one area, doesn't it? They've put pretty little uh, tulips and all there. And I see people using this area all the time. You, nobody restricts or anything. You can just go play your guitar there or hang out and eat some lunch and I see people there all the time enjoying the uh, just the downtown air here again I probably just stopped for a second to look around and say hmm, what should I get next what have I not gotten yet <laughs> so sorry if some of this looks kind of lame it's just me looking around a little bit okay what's what would be good to get there's the theater again great little theater by the way um, it's been a while since I've seen a video in there because of the whole you know pandemic thing but uh really good sound in, a, in our little local theater. That's what I like about it more than the ones in Hickory, actually. If I go past the, um, might have gotten even a little bit lower. I wanted to get that shot of, there you go. Get a really good shot of Morganton with the cupola, cupola, however you say it there, for the, uh, of the, of the courthouse. I guess I'll do a little quick roundabout here. So yeah, this is kind of a fun thing to do once in a while. I do it maybe a couple times a year. Uh, I think I did it once maybe in summer or fall of last year. The little emblem on the ground down there is something that's called True North. That line running by, by the emblem is the actual, is a north-south arrow. So that is actually pointing to the left is north, to the right is south. 
I'm not exactly sure what the whole True North thing is about. I'm sure it's some sort of business. Uh, it's, it's, it's something that's kind of popular. I hear that term a lot at the hospital now. It's like some striving for excellence type thing or something, which is cool. Benjamin's is the clothier in Dead Center. Now it's off to the right. This is probably one of the most popular streets going left right now and getting ready to turn down. This is West Union Street and a lot of real popular little restaurants and the grind coffee shop is on the that's what's about dead center now just to the right uh used to be a furniture place there to the left it's not there anymore that's a really good shot of morganton savings company you can see where they painted on the streets there to the left it's kind of cool uh, the gray buildings oak hill iron and wood beautiful green yard it's the greenest place in morganton it's that yard for morganton federal Morganton Stadiums. I went out this way so I could get just a little bit of our mission station, and that's what's behind that little stand of pine trees there. I don't know what this is. Morganton or Burke, Burke Mission Station, that's what that is there. And while I was out in that direction, I said, okay, I could go a little bit down West Union Street and uh, let people see a little bit of that, fly out toward uh, First Baptist Church. So I did a little quick run out toward First Baptist. You see the thing, it looks sort of like a tree sticking up there. It's actually a big sort of radio antenna, I guess a comm tower. And um, they put those green things on it to make it look more like a tree. <laughs> it looks pretty weird. This gives you a good view of some of the um, of the houses and everything there at our own West Union, which is sort of the historical part of town. It's kind of high dollar homes, I think. You have to do everything to a certain historical uh, level of accuracy so I turn around at this point and start heading back it's a good shot of the uh, First Baptist Church it's a big white brick church beautiful uh, beautiful steeple and all there it's a pretty yard the way that they've done their pattern there mowing the, mowing the grass I turn back to the south just slightly back toward High Peak Mountain which is sort of the mountain that has all of our Calm towers on it, the big calm towers in the Morganton, Burke County area. And this video is sort of drawing to a close. This is just a basic neighborhood there to the kind of southwest part of Morganton. Uh, the building in the center now that's brick is the old armory. It's now it's a meeting place. They have a nice stage and everything there. I've gone to several meetings there. It's a pretty cool place that you can rent out. That's the police station center right there. The little white cars there, those are all police cars, public safety. Do one more quick little buzz by the uh, courthouse, this area. Just trying to get lots of different approaches to it so I can see you know, how the other buildings and homes look. Again, this is just a thing I do for fun and for history's sake and share it with, uh, hopefully, soon with the historical society and let them do what they like with it it's pretty cool provides literally thousands of images from just slightly up in the air i'm, I'm not more than 120 30 feet up if even that nice shots of a pretty little town of morganton north carolina great place to call home if you're looking for a, a good place to settle down don't know where you want to go thinking about north carolina you certainly could do worse than the catawba valley that's our library to the right there uh, kind of the, you see it with the green emblem on the top of it, the brick building about dead center to the right. That's our public library. I haven't been in there in a while. I'd like to go in there. Here's one last look at Morganton before we end. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like. If you've got any questions about Morganton, North Carolina, downtown area, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. That's Grace Episcopal Church that we leave you with. Thanks for watching, people. Appreciate you.